Hi everybody, this is Liam Martin from Running Road, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a brand new announcement from Facebook unveiling Facebook Horizons workrooms, and why I believe VR remote work is not actually ready yet, and it's hopefully gonna get there very, very soon. Stay tuned. So for those that don't know me, my name is Liam Martin. I am a organizer of a conference called Running Remote, and on that conference, we talk about remote work stuff all day long, and I was flowing through my little Facebook feed and I found nothing but Facebook Horizon workrooms being talked about, particularly in the remote world, work world. So I thought I'd comment on it a little bit. So what is Horizon workrooms? Well, it's a new project for Facebook's Oculus platform. It's basically those virtual reality goggles that you put on. You can collaborate, you can actually bring in documents, you can have whiteboards. There's actually a pass-through keyboard system and mouse system. So quite literally, you can map out your keyboard and you can use your keyboard directly from your computer. You can also pull your computer directly inside of the Horizon workrooms platform and you can also log in virtually or through the desktop so you can go vr mode or you can actually just log in like a regular zoom call now i have tested this uh, we actually do meet in virtual reality quite a bit in the tech companies that i'm associated with and i'll tell you you know it's not quite ready yet and here are three of the main reasons why it hasn't worked in our remote team Number one, for a social network, collaborating on the work horizons or workroom horizons platform is really, really hard. We actually tried to log in multiple times. We couldn't actually figure out how to do it effectively. A lot of people's software desktop application didn't actually connect with the workrooms platform that well. So it was very difficult for us to actually figure out how to get this darn thing to work. We have found this trend with a lot of remote work virtual collaboration software platforms that we found in virtual reality. You have to type in really long codes to be able to log into places. It should just be as easy as, hey, are we Facebook friends? Cool, I can actually just jump into a room and talk to you instantaneously. It's not quite there yet. I think it's gonna get there. I mean, Facebook has so many devs working on this. Hopefully that will change. But as of right now, it's not really got the polish that it needs where I could see it as a daily driver for replacing Zoom meetings as an example. Number two, the hardware needs to be driven by the cloud to reduce both weight and costs. We have the Oculus Quest 2s, which are $299 USD, and that's a pretty expensive tool to be able to actually have with your regular laptop and everything else that you use to be able to do your work. Also, the thing is still pretty darn heavy. It weighs, you know, a couple pounds. And frankly, for me, I really can't use that thing for longer than an hour before I'm just exhausted. So it's not something that I could keep on eight hours a day as an example. However, I think there's a really fantastic solution to this. When you actually look at how the platform is built, the actual Oculus Quest platform, the vast majority of it is battery and processor. The actual, like video components, the screens are a very small percentage of the overall platform. So I actually think by moving to a cloud platform, meaning the processing doesn't happen directly inside of the headset, but it happens back at Facebook servers, you can number one, make your tool infinitely upgradable. You no longer actually have to buy another Oculus Quest. You just buy the same Oculus Quest and it lasts for 10, 20 years as an example. And then also secondarily, you are reducing the overall weight costs, which is really huge when you have to work for eight hours from a virtual reality headset or from a laptop for your work day. That is definitely one of the biggest things that I don't really see them moving towards and I don't know why they're currently doing it. Number three, the learning curve is still too difficult to figure out for most people. Uh, we have some pretty smart people inside of our companies and it took them a really long time to actually figure out the entire process. Logging in, where are we gonna go? Which room are we gonna go into? Oh, we're gonna create this one. No, I've created another room. It was really, really complicated and we actually ended up having Zoom calls and our Oculus headset because we needed to actually talk through Zoom, which was stable in order to actually go into the Work Horizons room. That's a big problem, and I just don't feel that Facebook has really cracked that yet. Where will this actually go? I see 
the pieces that they're putting together. The broad adoption of headsets is really the next step and it needs to be cloud-based. And the platform for work shouldn't be run by Facebook. In my opinion, platforms like Verbella, Miro, Mural should be the people to jump onto this. But fundamentally for me, once you actually have a headset that is gonna cost, let's say, under $100 that you don't have to upgrade ever because the upgrades actually happen on the server side and they don't actually happen inside of the hardware, you're gonna have an unbeatable platform that I think could quite literally be a better place to work than in person. If you have perspectives on it, please let me know. Have you tried out Work Horizons or whatever they're calling it, Workrooms? Have you tried that yet? Have you not tried it? Have, do you have an Oculus Quest? Do they make you sick? A couple people in our team, they feel that they can't use these things for more than an hour. I would love to be able to hear your perspectives down below. And while you're down there, why don't you like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I talk about this nerdy stuff all day long. I'll see you next video.